buddy. That was great work. Okay, all right, let's, oh my goodness. I am off again, and I'm headed back to maybe my favorite place on earth, the Hell's Canyon Snake River area to chase chucker, huns, and maybe even some valley quail. I did this trip last year and I had such a great time that I just had to go back. All right, I'm pumped. We're here. Um, it is going to be a beautiful day. Uh, we've got perfect weather. The sun's coming up. Um, I'm in an area very close to where I was last year. Um, going to have to go at it a little differently uh, this year because I don't have my ATV with me. But So more climbing, but I don't care. I'm ready to go. Well, Tubby's on point, and he's straight up. <laughs> oh, crap. I see it. So I was pretty aggravated when I missed those birds because this was our first point and I had climbed a long ways to get up there and they had held forever. So it's always aggravating when that happens. So on this one, I've got tubs on point down in this little valley, and Cece's just right here to my right backing. Whoa. Good boy, tubs. Good boy, buddy. One, two. Good boy, bud. Oh, that's good boy. Good boy, Tibby. Good boy, buddy. My goodness, nice big bird. Man, that's so pretty. Yeah, good boy, Tubby, good boy. So as we come into this area, we actually get into some valley quail. And I've actually never shot a valley quail before, and so this was my first. Um, they're well known for running a lot when they're in the covey, um, but then if you can bust up a covey, they will actually sit quite tight for it, the dogs. Oh, she's right here. Wow. The first bird I shot at, I did not hit very hard, but this second one goes down right in this briar patch. Oh my God, they keep coming out. Dead bird, CC. I knew right where the second bird was, so I got the dogs on the first one right away. Tubby found it, but it was running. Good boy, Tubbs, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, loose, loose. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Good job, Tubby. Good job, buddy. Oh man, that's my first one of those. Very cool. You got CC or retrieve here. Now I make my way over to where that second one fell. I know, baby, I know. It's in there, isn't it? Oh man, it dropped right in this tree right here. And it's like some of the nastiest briars I've ever seen. Oh, we've been trying to get find this bird for 
like 10 minutes we finally i think i see it right in there hanging up on some of these briars they're just wicked oh cc came in here most of the way and kind of just stood here like it's right in there boss you can get it oh holy shit So here it seems like we've got a running covey because the dogs have been doing kind of a point and track and point and track thing for quite a while. Dippard! Dippard! Good boy, buddy. Come here. Good boy. Loose. Oh, that's a male right there. A gorgeous little dude. So here I've got tubs locked down on a single, and this is a good example of how tight they can sit when they're broken up. Hell yeah! <laughs> Good boy, Tubby! <laughs> Woo! That one was locked down. Very cool. Come here, bud. <laughs> yeah, good boy, Tubby. Loose. Oh, wow. What a beautiful little thing. Yeah. So then I get another point alert and Cece's on point in exactly the same spot where she had just pointed a few birds earlier. Dead bird. Dead bird. That was cool. It had to go straight up this rock face. <laughs> it was a little slower than normal. <laughs> oh, good girl, CC. Dead bird. Surely it's not still alive. Dead bird, fetch. Man, that thing, that thing went down hard. Here, we better get my... I think it buried itself in this bush somewhere. Oh, it was in the tree. It was in the bush. Toby, come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Loose. Oh, there's another boy. Oh, man. These little dudes are a riot. So that was really cool, getting into my first big covey of valley quail. And now we're making our way down back to the truck and I get a point alert. It's hard to see him, but I got tubs on point over here in this little draw. So Cece doesn't see him, and when she crests this hill, the birds start coming up. Luckily, there was a straggler, and I knock him down. Dead bird! Had a boy, Tubby! Good boy, Tubbs. Good boy. Had a good boy. Good boy, Tubby. God, I love checker hunting. 
Well, that was a really great day and a nice way to start this trip. So the next day we get some weather coming in on us and we don't get into a ton of birds, but we do get some action. I should have watched it, but it went way down there. There's a feather right there. Oh, look, another feather and another. I know it was hit, but it just kind of locked and soared on me. We're actually able to recover that bird about an hour, hour and a half later when we come back through at a lower elevation. Good girl, come here. Good girl, all right, good, good girl. Here I've got tubs on point on some jumpy birds. I don't hit this bird very hard, but I do see it go down. I see it. It's down right there. Tubby's got him. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> And just like that, we went from a nice clear day to pea soup. <laughs> it happened in about 10 minutes. Here's some coyotes. So here I've got Tubbs and CC on point. And CeCe's kind of behind Tubbs over to the left. And what I think happens is her bird gets up and it kind of flies over Tubbs here and I shoot it. Good girl, CeCe. Good boy, Tubby. Good boy, buddy. Oh, it is good boy. Good boy, Tubbs. All right, Luce, Luce, good boy. Oh, man. So it ended up being a pretty decent day, even with the weather. But the next day, uh, I tried a couple other spots and just saw a handful of birds. Uh, didn't get any birds in the bag. So I thought I might try just a whole new area. And I got to give a quick shout out to my new buddy, Jeff, who showed me this place because it really turned out to be the absolute highlight of the whole trip. Now I'm sure you could find places that have a higher concentration of birds, but the scenery at this place was spectacular. I mean, just everywhere you look, there was, there was a beautiful view and the wildlife was fantastic. We saw bighorn sheep, we saw elk, uh, we saw mule deer, we saw, um, we even saw turkeys, and bald eagles, and golden eagles, you know, let alone the, the chucker and the Hungarian partridge and actually valley quail that we saw there. So it was just an amazing place and what a cool place to hunt birds. Well, it's another beautiful morning here. Um, just kind of hanging out with the dogs here and soaking it all in before we go out for our hunt today. Um, we've had a great trip so far. Um, seen, we've seen a lot of birds, um, but we've just seen some incredible country. And that's a big part of this trip is just the being here. Um, just to, just to look around and, and take it all in. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, so anyways, we're going to do some some exploring today, try out some new areas that we've never been to, and see what we find. An important component to chucker habitat is cheatgrass, and this place had some of the thickest cheatgrass I've ever seen. So in the new area, we definitely have to do some climbing, but once we gain some elevation, we get into birds. So I've got tubs on point here over to my left 
And, you know, normally these birds are out of ways from the dog, um, but these are holding tight. No way. No way. They were closer than I thought. So that one caught me off guard. I was approaching them as if the birds were well out in front of them, but they were actually in tight. So Tubbs has got another point here, and he is straight up this hill for me, and it's a lot steeper than it looks on camera, of course, but the hillside is not just steep, it's got a lot of loose rock on it, so the footing is pretty bad. And so as I'm thinking about approaching these birds and trying to keep my footing as I do so. So I just really slowly and methodically, kind of step by step, trying to keep footing, make my way up this hill towards the birds. Because if there's one thing I've learned in my little bit of chucker hunting, it's that if you don't have solid footing, you have very little chance of making a shot. I wouldn't mind if you busted him. Good boy, Tubbs. Fetch him up. Good boy, buddy. I'll go over there to you. Michelle. Good boy, Tubby. Here. Come here. Ha. God, I can't get my foot. Good boy, Tubbs. Good boy, buddy. Holy crap, buddy. That was great work. Okay, all right, there's, oh my goodness. Would you look at this? Okay, so this time I've got Moxie on point, and this one kind of shows some of the hazards that you can get into in this terrain. That bird's dead, damn it. The reason I'm upset here is because I hit this bird really hard. But because of the steepness of the terrain, it's able to just kind of lock its wings and sail forever. That bird is dead and it locked wings on me. Now that I actually see the topography here, that is a cliff. I actually shouldn't have shot um, because I think that bird was basically dead. It could just fall for, I mean, who knows how far. So... That was probably one where I shouldn't have shot. I just didn't, I didn't realize this cliff was here until I kind of got over here. But, so that's unfortunate. So now I've got both dogs on point in about the same area. And this is another one, unfortunately, I shouldn't have shot. But sometimes it's just really hard for me not to pull the trigger. Another one that's dead. Wow, I poofed that one too. So now I've had two birds here that I know are dead and I have not been able to recover. So I try to learn my lesson here and hold off on these kinds of shots for the rest of the hunt. Got another one here where Moxie and Tubbs are both on point but it looks like I'm gonna get a better shot at these. Dead bird. Oh wow, there's a cliff here. Good boy, Tubbs. Good boy, buddy. Holy shit, this did drop off. Good boy, Tubby, come here. Come here, bud. Whew. Loose. 
Good boy. Here I've got Moxie on point over to my left, and she's got some Huns. Dead bird. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Nope. Here. Moxie, here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Yeah. All right, Lucy. Good girl. Yeah, this mountain's got them all. Here's another nice find by Moxie, although she does get a little loose here, and that's something we're going to work on. So when these got up, I identified them as Huns, but actually the one I shot was a chucker. That's a good boy. That's a good boy, Tubby. Good boy. Hey, come here. Good boy. Okay, this is Moxie again here, and she's doing one of those point and track, point and track things all through this area until she gets down to the edge of a small cliff. So I decided to kind of swing around to her right a little bit to try to get a better angle on the birds. Bird. I'm trying to get this bird to flush because I can't Excuse take me. another step because there's a pretty good drop off Come right on, bird. here. Come on, bird. I can see it. Dead bird. When this bird hits the ground, it just about bounces off a cliff. Oh, man. It, it, we lucked out. Dead bird. It is sitting on a that little ledge knob thing right there. If it would have gone another four feet, it'd been <laughs> off a cliff. I think I got a point signal while she was doing this too, from Tubbs. No, he's not pointing right now. Well, I take that back, he is now. She's gotta go like 30 yards down there to that. <sighs> whatever that little poke up part I can look and see the bird and I need her to get it because my knee is killing me she's gonna get it careful baby careful she's gonna get it oh man she's so close right there right there oh my god that is so scary fetch it up dead bird fetch dead bird fetch oh I hope she's careful holy shit Dead bird fetch. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Hi, right, Luce. Luce. That was awesome. And I'd love to sit here and wax poetic about it, but Tubbs has been on point for about five or six minutes now. We've been, we've been trying to get this bird. Let's go see what he's got. Okay, so I get over here to Tubbs, and it seems like the birds are moving on him quite a bit because he relocate several times. Damn it. That's not the first time that's happened. So when I pull up, my sling comes up over the top of my barrel, which completely obscures the shot. That stupid strap. Man, I'm going to get rid of this thing. 
Good boy, Tubby. Okay. This time I get an alert that both dogs are on point in the same spot. Hey, bird. Dead bird over here, guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dead bird this way. Dead bird, dead bird. There you go, good boy. Had a boy, Tubbs, here. Had a boy, Tubbs, here. Good boy. <sighs> Some more beautiful work with you two. <sighs> I don't really catch it on camera, but I get quite a surprise on this next point. Holy cow. Tubbs just pointed a friggin' turkey right here. Hit shot out of there. Scared me to death. Come on, Tubby. Oh my God. I think maybe you caught a glimpse of it there. Oh, Freaking heart attack, man. <laughs> That's a big one, wasn't it, Tubbs? My bird. No, Tubby, my bird. Well, that's another hunt that I'll remember forever because, you know, the combination of the birds, the dog work, and that amazing scenery just made for an awesome day. And I really just feel thankful. I'm thankful that we have these public lands. I mean, these amazing public lands that any of us can go to and have these kinds of experiences, hunt, whatever you're into. But it's just a wonderful thing that we have this amazing resource, as the United States does, of these unbelievable public lands that we can all share. Well, that was a great day, and because of that, I decided to stay in this area for the rest of the trip. But it is pretty remote, so I had to get back to town, get some supplies, and kind of get ready to be off the grid for a while. But, you know, that's part of the fun, is getting out there and just kind of becoming immersed in these wildernesses. So be sure to check out part two. If you're interested in getting more of this kind of content, you might want to check out my Patreon page. You can go to patreon.com and search for Eric Forrester, or you can click on the link in the description and get access to all that extra content.